Hello folks, and this is Kinky, uh, doing Let's Play Armor Man, Team Assault, Part 5. And now we're in the uh, Tan Submarine Base. And as you can see here, we need a demolition and a mechanic. Now this is one of those optional type missions, where uh, depending upon who you choose, uh, you can have different outcomes and different ways of doing things. And I'll explain how I mean. But first off, we have to beat a noob trap. Uh, this mission, instead of just letting you have a chance, is the instant you start in the game, you uh, trigger the alarm. As you can see, the explosion up ahead uh, from your submarine's deck gun. So the first thing we have to do is you get bum rushed by like three or four guys, and uh, you have to immediately put your uh, guy in a safe position, and you can explore around back here. It'll trigger some more enemies. As long as you put your guy safe on that little rise there, uh, you won't. The enemy won't engage your partner, so you can just go ahead and run along here and get ammo and supplies and whatever you need down here. Uh, also, the game gives you uh, something kind of silly, uh, and I don't understand the purpose of it uh, for this scenario in particular. And I'll, I'll explain that when I pick it up. But anyway, as you can see here, uh, our man is pretty much safe, uh, just off screen of us, and uh, our buddy Shadow here uh, is just kind of getting hit hard by snipers and whatnot. Uh, some missions, the enemy will just wing you, and then on other missions, it'll be like two or three hits and insta death. Oh, also, all these little light tan boxes there are all destructible, and they give you ammo if you uh, destroy them. But since it explodes, you have to also make sure to uh, keep clear of it. We'll switch to Boomer here and clear out what, whether tan is left throughout the area, and then we'll start blowing up the beast boxes. Now you see here there's landmines, but there's no use or point to the landmines. I suppose if you had placed them before you went up here, you could probably have exploded them, but there's no purpose for landmines as far as I can see in this scenario. And this is one of the few games where it actually gives you landmines during an actual uh, in-game thing. I think Sarge's Heroes lets you... and, and uh, Army Man 3D are about the only two other games I know of that actually let you actively place landmines uh, outside of the top down. I mean, all the 3D stuff. If someone wants to correct me, they can. But anyway, we'll go ahead and explode all these uh, flammable objects here just to prevent an accidental, accidental death. And we're about to begin our first optional thing. As you can see, uh, there's a bunch of enemies around up here, and uh, since we brought a sniper with us, uh, one of the crates contained a, a sniper rifle. So uh, we can go ahead and clear the enemies out this way by using this here sniper rifle. But there is one other way you can do this mission, and I will show that when I get to it. But first we can just go ahead and have some fun sniping out all the enemies here. They give you a little bit extra ammo than what you need, but still rather fun. Also, these enemies here, you have to kind of aim it just right, because it'll hit the uh, fencing rather than the guy itself. So you got to watch your shot there. But as you can see, as we, since we brought a sniper with us, we don't have to worry about no... Uh, twin 50 cals there and we just cleared out that entire mob without too much breaking a sweat. But there is one other method uh, for those who like the uh, Medal of Honor style and I'll show you that once uh, I just go ahead and walk around. Now uh, 
the uh, repair thing is right here, by the way, if you need it. Uh, Shadal's uh, engineer, but he's also a sniper. But as you can see, there's a gray 50 cal up here. Uh, there you go. See? Uh, that's the second way you can do it. You can have one guy fix the gun and then get onto it, and then he can just clear out the whole room using the 50 cal. A uh, little bit more painful, uh, but it is doable that way. Like I said, I prefer the uh, sniper method of doing it, and uh, pretty much safer, easier, uh, less tenseful, I suppose, is how you could put it. I'm going to go ahead and explode all these uh, flammable barrels here, prevent accidental, accidental death. It's just kind of a habit of mine to get rid of all the flammables. Also, there's a med kit in case your guy's hurt. The game starts giving you less and less uh, med kits to kind of get you more used to working with your guys. They expect by now that you would know kind of about some of what each other does. Anyway, like I said, here's where you would need the uh, mechanic part. Since he's not a heavy weapons expert, he uh, you can't use it. And uh, if you had a heavy weapons expert, he can man the gun and he can clear out the room that way. But we didn't bring a heavy weapons expert with us, so we can't use that gun. And that's fine and dandy. We don't need it. So we'll go ahead and uh, put Boomer in the corner here. We don't need him. And as you notice, the, the door is jarred, and uh, you might might have noticed or you might not have noticed, but when I entered that room the first time, you'll notice that there was an explosion way back in the corner here by the door. Uh, that's was this here, and it closed the door on us as we were walking up. So we just had to get our mechanic there to open the door for us. And that's why you needed a mechanic, is to open that door. Like I said, a lot of they 3DO tried to be creative with the team thing, but sometimes the objectives are a little too, I don't know, blatantly obvious or blatantly easy. I mean, I know some missions are extremely complex, but some of them are like really retarded. So I guess it's between that sort of thing and that, you know, however you want to take it. Wait, we got a left road and we got a right road. And uh, depending upon how far you step or where you step, you can trigger different en the enemies in the area without them really knowing where you are. Like him, he's behind the rock here, so he, he'll shoot always to the left or to the right of you, but you can't snipe him. I'll try to throw a grenade, but uh, probably bounce off the rock. Let's see. See, it should have hit him, but it didn't. So we'll just kill him. Uh, now you can see there's a left and a right route. So we'll go ahead and do the, le the left route first. Kill the enemies here. Now there's two ways of doing this one as well. Uh, the first way is just you just run and gun. And you can see there's that explosive barrel back there. If you had a sniper rifle, you could have waited till those enemies showed up in position, and you could have sniped it. Remember to back off first. But anyway, you would trigger these rocks here, and they would run over and smash them like that. Which I kind of like. Th I kind of like how 3DO was attempting to uh, give give players different options to uh, accomplish mission goals. I mean, there's only so few missions that do it, but it is kind of cool. But we'll go ahead and clear out the rest of the way here. Pretty much simple, basic uh, step triggers. Nothing too hard here. The auto aim really does help uh, for situations like this, and they made it way too easy because of it, but. Uh, not all missions are so auto aim friendly. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm just barely out of range. I got a snipe. So, there we go. 
but uh, basically, like I said, just take your time here. Um, pretty much I have nothing really much to say on the thing. Um, oh, here we go. Here's some guys here. Pretty, they're pretty blind. I, th I don't get why they nerfed the difficulty so hard compared to uh, Final Assault or I mean Final Front or Lock and Load, however you want to call it. I've heard, but uh. But it's kind of cool that they try different things. Like I said, it just they made it too easy on some levels because of it. I don't know they were trying to make it a little bit difficult. And some of them have really basic. You can just clear it with one guy. Like missions like this where you just need one guy to blow the door and the other guy to uh, use use the wrench. And it makes no sense why why they have the team thing and then you have some other missions where it's really really complicated and you really do need both the guys and I'll show and uh, one of those type of missions is coming up uh, so you'll have fun watching me fail on that one but uh, yeah pretty much nothing really much to say uh, as far as other videos and stuff, though, uh, like I said, uh, nobody's really voted on my Taohao thing, uh, Taohaomon. If you want to go ahead and post a comment or whatever there, go ahead and uh, I'll vote which starter I can use. But we're finally at the door here, and uh, this is the only place where you use the explosives. And I don't remember if the if the boulders have any special effect with it or not. So we'll just wait. Pretty much, I think that the boulders were a, another attempt at a noob trap, uh, since it's sealed off and blocked off. And uh, if you accidentally just ran up there like a dunce and uh, got ran over by the boulders, then go ha. So. <laughs> It was creative. Anyway, this is the end of the mission here. So, uh, Kinky signing out. Thank you.